Looking good. Looking good. How's my lighting? That's too bright. That's not bad. Okay. Awesome. Everything is where it needs to be. Excellent. No distractions. Uh, we are live on Facebook. Uh, also, you might be watching this on YouTube a little bit later. As a reminder, uh, this is a live show that happens on Facebook. Good morning, Frank Morales. You're the first guy in. Scott Black, uh, welcome to our talk this morning. Uh, I was just mentioning that if you uh, are watching this on YouTube, you can join us on Facebook Live every morning, weekday morning at 8 a.m. Uh, Oe, good morning, Wes. All right, boy, you guys are booking ready to go. It's Friday, it's Friday, and we've got some cool stuff that's going on. Wes Nielsen, Daily Driver Project. What's up, buddy? Good morning. Uh, I hope you guys are ready for the weekend because it's going to be spectacular, and I don't even know that what you're doing, what you're going, what you, what's, what's going on with you guys. Cindy, good morning. Uh, Jay Bullman, uh, boy, you guys are booking in. Tim Miller, what's up, buddy? Thanks for joining me today on uh, Art Talk episode 18. 18, dang, this is going faster than the blog. Crazy. Uh, happy Friday, my friend says Wes. Uh, Johnny Martinez, good morning, fire. Good morning, Johnny. Spectacular. Uh, as I mentioned, this is our talk, episode 18, uh, where the purpose of this show is to get those creative juices flowing for you guys, is to uh, pick a, a target for yourself, a creative target, whatever it is for the day, for the week, for the month, for the year, for the rest of your life, and then to move towards that target in a way that's effective and most of all fun. That's it's supposed to be fun. Uh, our motto, uh, do what you love, love what you do. And that is what we do uh, here at Fireball Publishing. We create coloring books and um, uh, super cool stuff you guys have seen. And uh, car shows and, and the blog and all that kind of stuff. And uh, and I'm excited to share today's topic with you because it's 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 cool. It's cool. Uh, uh, Wayne Kendrick, uh, good morning. Let me know where you guys are tuning in from. We are all over the planet because it's Facebook Live and the world has become a lot smaller, a lot smaller. Uh, so we are literally next door to each other. If you happen to be local, uh, if you're near Malibu today, I want to give you a quick heads up. Um, uh, I'm having uh, coffee with Tony Dow this morning uh, if, at Cafe Lux at 930. If you got nothing to do, you know, want to swing in, say hi to Tony. Uh, we'll have Paul Grisanti there. We'll have a few people uh, just going to have some coffee. Cafe Lux in Malibu. So uh, join us from 9.30 to 11. Or if you're, you're around and want to come by, swing, swing by and say hi. Um, this is a live show, so you can ask. Uh, good morning, Rick. Uh, you're local. Very good. Uh, you can ask me questions, and you can interact with each other. I encourage that because as a team, we are growing, creatively speaking, and uh, we want success for everyone. It's coming through. Never mind. Forget that. Um, you guys can hear me okay? Everything's good? Uh, Mark Green, greetings from Grig, Gig Harbor, not Grig, Gig Harbor, Washington, where it's sunny and not raining for a change. Uh, yes, very cool. Um, say hello to Tony and, of course, ask, how, how's the beaver? <laughs> That's a question that has been asked for the last 50 years. So um, I think the beaver's fine. I think the beaver's fine. Um, uh, uh, I don't even know how to respond to that. It just It just keeps rolling in. Okay, so today's subject, uh, let's get into this because it's Friday. I know you guys got stuff to do. Uh, I certainly do. And um, uh, uh, I want you guys to get this and to kind of let it percolate a little bit. Let it uh, uh, kind of do its thing. And, and today's uh, subject, although initially the title is um, a bit nefarious, a bit uh, um, uh, amoeboid, uh, a variety of things, uh, it's about shifting consciousness. And shifting consciousness uh, is kind of a technical uh, technical verbiage, uh, and it, it, it requires some explaining, but shifting consciousness is just changing the way you think, changing the way you perceive things so that it, it benefits you, right? It's like looking at a Twinkie and saying, oh, that's going to be delicious. And, and then, but, uh, you shift your consciousness and say, yeah, but if I eat that, I'm going to feel like shit. I'm going to feel terrible and I'm going to gain weight and I'm going to look like crap and a lot of these things. So, um, it's about a perspective shift. Okay. Um, and the way that you shift consciousness. Uh, Johnny says, I got a busy day, Fireball. Please tell Tony, hello, have a great day. All right, see ya. Talk to you soon. Tommy, uh, White Lightning is in the house. 
All right. I don't know what that means, but sounds good. Sounds good. Okay, so shifting consciousness is about putting yourself in the present and uh, where creativity actually exists. It doesn't exist in the past because, well, we've pretty much already done that. It doesn't exist in the future because we don't know what's, what's going to be happening. But we can control the future. We can control the future by what we put into the present, the energy that we put in the present. And that's a very important thing to recognize because uh, Rick says intermittent fasting today. Good. Keep going. Um, uh, being in the present where we, where we focus on creativity, where we do our, our creative uh, prowess, where we, we draw, we paint, we sculpt, we build, uh, we create uh, in any form, in every form that you can possibly think of. Uh, uh, being in the present, that's where the energy, energy exists and that's where your mind flows. So wherever you put your energy is what's going to expand. All right. So if you put your energy into dwelling on your problems, that's going to expand. If you put your energy into uh, the people that you love and the things that you're grateful for, then that's going to expand. And that's that's a very important, simple aspect to understand. Not so easy to do. Not so easy to do. I want you guys to to uh, to, to work on that because it's a muscle. It's like going to the mental gym. But we we do that. We achieve that by uh, trying to stop dwelling on ourselves and our problems and, and the things that are going on in our lives and start thinking about how we can help others, how we can uh, get into a, a mode of giving, okay? And that's, that's part of the shifting of consciousness. Now, the world is shifting consciousness um, and you can see it percolating and peppering throughout the planet. There's lots of things that are going on that are both good and bad perceptively, but the bad stuff is only bad if we perceive it that way. Uh, there's always lessons to be learned. So there's people that are doing bad things. and But there's a great shift that's happening in the world now. And, and that shift is, uh, uh, the result of that shift are things like electric cars, um, consciousness of, of how you deal with your environment, how you treat people, uh, your, your, your awareness of your own power, that you can shift the course of your life just based on the way you think and that results in the things that you do. So the, a great shift is happening, and, and you guys are actually watching this because you're aware of that in some capacity. You're getting something of value out, out of this. I'm not teaching you how to draw. I'm not teaching you how to build a car or things like that. I'm trying to get you guys to understand that your shop is right here in the mind, and you can create by through visualization, through meditation, through affirmations, through the way in which you perceive your world, okay? So the way that we really shift consciousness is by doing something new, doing something fresh. Um, I live by, by one word, and that word for me is the word yes, is I say yes to everything and I figure out how to do it later. And, and, and the reason I do that is because in some capacity, I've attracted things to my life. Uh, and as a result of that awareness and saying yes to things, um, whether it's an idea that I get or a, an idea that someone proposes to me, um, uh, you know, I, I, you have to be somewhat pragmatic about it. You know, you don't say yes if someone says, hey, it'd be really cool to jump off this bridge, right? That's the thing that your parents probably said to you. If you do, you, if, if your friends jumped off the bridge, would you do it too? It's like, well, it all depends right? It all depends. It's like, is it into water or onto concrete? Is it, does it sound like fun? You know, lots of, of you have to be somewhat um, uh, practical about certain things. But uh, if it's an inspired idea, sorry, that was the alarm to go off a little bit late for our talk. I'm already here. What's up? Okay. Uh, good morning, Lawrence Flinton. Uh, good morning. Yep. Uh, so, Stepping into the unknown is very cool. I, I, I like to get in, you know, I get a lot of these cars and I'm driving the Cadillac CT6 right now, a big daddy caddy. And I like driving to places I've never been. I like exploring. When I was a kid, my brothers and I, we would go out in the morning in summertime and uh, we would just spin ourselves in the middle of the street with our eyes closed. And, uh, and then we would stop and wherever our finger pointed, that's the direction we would go. And we would go and explore and we found some amazing things. Now I live in Malibu and uh, Malibu is 21 miles long by about maybe five or six miles wide. And uh, there's a lot, there's a lot to do here. I've been here for a very, very, very long time. And there's still things that I'm discovering that I, I didn't even know existed. 
just amazing stuff from trailheads to uh, buildings to uh, history to all kinds of stuff and there's amazing stuff in your town so you want to get out there and explore you want to, to do things like uh, Wes if you're if Wes if you're still watching um, it's important for you to go to a car show you've never been to before uh, go to something really uh, unique and extreme and you know that and you know the experience that you're gonna have and you get excited about that stuff because you love that kind of uh, uh, that, that subject matter and 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 the aspect of not just cars but the people and everything else that we've discussed Okay, stepping into the new and uh, into the new uh, outside of your comfort zone—that's that's a big deal too. Is um, what keeps you in the present is not just doing new things, but stepping into the into uh, a a place where you're slightly uncomfortable. It's like, oh man, I, I'm not sure I could do this, uh, but I'm going to say yes anyway because uh, because it's come to me. And, and that's a very exciting, uh, although it can be very scary. And, and the thing about that is that it's important to be scared. It's important to be afraid uh, when you're faced with something new. Should I take out this loan? Should I buy this house? Should I do this thing? And uh, uh, you have to get out there. Of course, absolutely, says Wes. And um, you, you want to get out there, but you want to get out there in a way that's a little unnerving. It's a little like, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about this, but I'm going to do it anyway because this is my life and I want to explore. And the thing is, you guys know that you can't get the same result if you're always doing something new. So if you get into the grind and you're working out and it's it's uh, uh, starting to become a, a habit that you're doing this same thing every time, switch it up. Switch it up. If you uh, normally walk down the street this direction, walk this direction. Walk backwards. Well, you know, uh, go to a different town and walk. Um, I love when I when I travel and I go to Chicago or I go to New York or wherever we end up going. Is I love putting on my shorts and going and running through the city and not necessarily knowing where I'm going to go. And I have a very good sense of direction, so I don't have to worry too much about that. But um, uh, it's always fun to explore and to do something fresh and something new, slightly out of your comfort zone. Okay, uh, it's part of a um, a restructure of your of your mind of the the way things are going on in your mind and uh we get we get stuck in our our dwelling in our problems and it keeps us locked in a prison with the door open and you're holding the key and all you got to do is step out and, and that's uh, something difficult for people to do difficult for people to understand but the more that you can um recognize that the power is within you and what you put out there is what comes back to you the more that you can just start have an a la carte life to design your own life. Uh, Lauren says, you never know what's behind that new door that opens unless you push it wide open. Of course, and for some people, it's very comfortable to, to do that, uh, to explore. I'm very comfortable getting out there, trying new things, uh, exploring. I certainly love going to restaurants and trying new food, having things that I don't have, you know, at all. I've never had before. You know, Kathy, not so much. You know, Kathy wants to get out there and she wants to have the same thing because she knows that she loves that and that's good and why switch it up? And I understand that mentality too. But you don't necessarily grow by doing the same thing over and over again. She says that she does that, but in truth, she doesn't. She she does a lot of new things, That's which is why she's a black belt. She's been a surfer since she was 16. Uh, we have traveled all over the world. Um, uh, she's afraid of heights, and she climbed pyramids. So she's just a badass, you know, across the board. Uh, so uh, she is uh, has the, that mentality when it comes to adventure. Uh, the word is yes in big, fat, bold letters. Okay. Um, the, the, the biggest challenge, the biggest challenge, I want you guys to think about this, is that it's okay to be afraid. It's okay to um, uh, acknowledge the problems, acknowledge the anxieties and all these things, but you just don't want to dwell there. You don't want to stay there for a period of time. And people stay there for days, sometimes months. And that turns into a condition, it turns into a depression, a lot of things. So um, it's important that when you're faced with something that's out of your comfort zone and you're really you know, you know, like you're, like you're jumping out of your own skin. Um, it's important to acknowledge that it's okay to be afraid. I want you to be afraid. It keeps you sharp. Like they said in GI Jane, pain lets you know that you're alive, right? So you're not dead yet, which is good. Uh, but uh, it's important to not stay there. You don't, you don't want to stay there. You want to expand out of your comfort zone. You want to say uh, uh, yes um, uh, and work out how to do it later, like I said. Okay, so does that make sense? I hear cheering. That's good. I can't hear you guys talking, but I can, I, I can hear those fingers tapping. Okay? Uh, I want you guys to have a spectacular day. Once again, as a reminder, um, I'm meeting Tony Dow for coffee at 9.30 Pacific Standard Time. If you're in the L.A. area, you want to come join us, Cafe Lux in Malibu. We're going to have a few people there. It's going to be fun. Um, and I am headed up to Santa Cruz 
with David Neal from the Murphy Museum. We're going to pick up a Woody. Yeah, it's going to be cool. Woody and a vintage trailer. We're going to be vlogging that stuff. We're going to be doing some Facebook Live from there. So when I'm gone, we're still going to do, well, it's on the weekend. So, uh, But if I'm gone during the week, we will still do Facebook Live's uh, Art Talk here. This is episode 18, uh, just from a different location. So it'll this will be the same. But all that back there, that, that'll look different. Okay? All right. Have a spectacular day, guys. Uh, I love you all. I appreciate you guys for being here with me this morning. It gives me a jolt. gets me going. Okay? But get out there. Kick some ass. You got the whole weekend for uh, before we get together on Monday. I want to hear some stories. I want to hear some good stuff that you did. Okay? So get out there. We'll talk to you soon.